Guys, understand something. Fads, trends, styles, they come, they go, they're recycled. Trends come left and right all the time. One thing I am noticing in the sneaker game is something that I'm really excited about. And I gotta share it with you guys because this is one of my favorite sneakers. You guys saw the title, you saw the description, you already know what time it is, Rebels video up. Let's get to it. Family, what's good, Rebels? What's up? It's your boy, CJ McGill, back with another video for you today. Rebels, before we even get into it, you already know the drill, man. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell. Turn those notifications on so you are in the know every time a video drops on the channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mac the rebel that's m-a-c-t-h-e rebel for twitter just put an underscore at the end of the name rebels listen i am really excited and i think one reason why i am so excited is because in the earlier part of the decade i should say so that's like 2010 20 between 2010 and 2014 2015 area there was a shoe that caught fire and was so popular that it literally had that jordan one resale trend if you catch what i'm saying meaning it was limited the shoe dropped you could barely get your hands on it and the only way to get it was by going on ebay and getting it for like six to seven hundred dollars and i know you guys are like dude what shoe are you talking about guys i'm gonna go ahead and get into it today rebels we are doing a review and having a little bit of a discussion on the nike air foam posit one this time in its anthracite black colorway let's get into it now that we're back you already know what we're talking about man you guys saw the title you guys saw the description you guys saw the thumbnail you guys saw the first part of the video we are talking about the nike air foam posit one in its anthracite colorway that's a good thumbnail right there let's go ahead lock that up rebels the reason why i am so excited to do a review on a foam posit is because i love foam posit for those of you who who understand people with bigger feet sometimes shoes don't look the best on a bigger foot for example Yeezy 350s they don't really look good on a bigger foot because of the design they just make your foot look really long but but there are some shoes that come out guys where the shoe actually looks bigger on a bigger foot case in point the foam posit now granted this is an 11 and a half I thought I could fit it but I could not so um, this will be actually going to that shoe shop link that is in the description of this page so guys if you are looking for a pair of black anthracite foam posit ones in a size 11 and a half definitely click that link down in the description and cop these while they are still available but yeah rebels i love foam posits man i had the 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 memphis foam posits when they first dropped i had the cough drops i had the cherries i had the eggplants um a whole bunch of foam posits that i eventually moved and got rid of some i actually traded for some other shoes that i still currently have in my collection but there is one phone posit that i kept so real quick just a quick background uh sold most of my collection guys fell on some hard times that story is actually the first actually i didn't even tell the story yet but that go back to the first video i ever posted on my channel guys i'm gonna go ahead and link that right there i actually sold most of my collection to get myself out of a bind but one of the shoes that actually made it through was my personal pair of gone fishing phone posits size 12 i love this shoe man the fish scales on it are incredible the gaunt the dead fish right there on the back of the shoe guys this shoe is just really dope man so i'm so glad i was able to keep my hands on it and i wear
wear this shoe often as you can see brown bottoms man you already know how it goes so anyways rebels that's not what we're talking about we're going to have a discussion and actually rebels we're going to have a discussion on where i think phone posits are actually going um in a later video so stay tuned for that but we are not talking about that guys let's go ahead and jump into the review we are talking about the anthracite phone posit ones all right really really clean upper guys for those of you with the bigger foot for those of you who want a more sturdy shoe on the court or maybe just a sturdy shoe that you can wear with literally anything any outfit most outfits i should say then i would definitely suggest getting your hands on the anthracite phone posit one it is really clean guys all the way around that synthetic leather upper is like in case it is a really tough sturdy plastic one reason why i really do love foam posits is because they are built to last okay so leather upper encompassing that upper right there guys all right you have those lace locks right there looking nice and clean of course on the branding side of things on the tongue you do have that p logo right there for those of you who don't know this is penny hardaway's shoe to any of the new sneakerheads, some of the bandwagon sneakers heads people who never really knew what phone posits were these are penny hardaway shoe really really clean shoe guys really well done all right the bottom is a solid black bottom okay so you do have that extra padding right there to give you that good grip on the court is layered like so all right right here you do have that really good carbon fiber going right there on both sides of the sole all right and then there's some more penny branding right there on the bottom so yeah rebels this is the air foam posit one anthracite colorway triple black if whatever you want to call it, it is the black color that did come out really clean shoe guys i can't even lie this is the pair right here if you haven't been able to do so rebels make sure you get your hands on it the box does come like so all right so it is a black pop-up lid box i'm gonna say not pop-up lid but the lid is removable like a jordan one so this is the box right here you got that nike branding right here on the front it does bleed over onto the side of the box you got the nike logo right there as well guys and then you also have nike on all four sides tag does read air foam posit one black black and anthracite make sure you're able to get your hands on it if you are looking for a size 11 and a half rebels make sure you check out the ebay link that is in the description of this video make sure you click on that and you should be able to get your hands on this shoe no problem okay in the comments below guys let me know what you think about the air foam posit ones in their anthracite colorway is this a shoe that you plan on getting is this a shoe that you think is dope is this a shoe that you think is a pass you care about foam posits do you like foam posits i know me personally had this fit i definitely would have held on to it because like i said i am a foam posit lover man and i can't wait for us to have that rebel talk discussion guys on where I think phone posits are going in the sneaker game I think they're gonna make a crazy comeback but like I said we'll talk about that in another video so rebels like I said leave some comments below for your boy man let me know what you think about the phone posit ones in their anthracite colorway let's get a discussion going in the comment section so rebels with that being said it's your boy CJ McGill man aka CJ rebel checking out with another video don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and um, make sure that you like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the channel, guys, and turn on those post notifications, all right? So, Rebels, with that being said, checking out with another video, and I'll see you in the next one, and we're out. Peace.